my wife bought me a DVD of the movie The Martian, which comes with one of these digital downloads. Yeah. And with the digital download, you have to choose, I guess, when you do it, either to do it with iTunes or Ultraviolet. Right. And, and then when I was looking at that, the problem is, and it's kind of perfect for Easter, we're an interfaith family. I have PCs, <laughs> Macs, iPads, iPhones, a Vizio TV, and I'm looking at getting an Android phone. So I, I'm looking for something that I could do on as many of my devices right. as possible. Right. Ultra Vi, this is, you know what, this is because the movie industry doesn't want you to cut, make a rip of this. And so they've got a horrible system with copy protection, and it's not working well. We're going to have to take a break, but we'll talk when we come back. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Uh, just Lowe's Ultraviolet. Uh, so, and I'm wondering, is it the case that you can only activate one or the other, uh, Mike, or? It, it says you need to select your preferred service. Uh-huh. And the research I did indicates that you do probably get stuck <laughs> with whatever you choose. Yeah, and of course, iTunes, well, iTunes will work, won't work on Android. It would work on Windows, because you can install right. iTunes on Windows. And it doesn't go to my TV because I don't have Apple TV. Ah. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood's screwed. And you yeah. just should download a ripper and do it yourself because you can make an uncopy protected version. You know, they want to preserve the copy protection. That's what ultraviolet is. iTunes also has its own copy protection. Right. So uh, they want to they want to keep you from making multiple copies of this. But that's precisely what you want to do. Uh, and legitimately... Right. So uh, is it a, a Blu-ray or is it a regular DVD? It's a Blu-ray. Yeah. Blu-ray is a little trickier. Uh, DVD was cracked almost instantly by a high school kid. And so, <laughs> and so the movie industry said, you know, you know, once cracked was never fixable. So basically it was a copy protection that never worked. Um, and so the movie industry said never again. And they said on Blu-ray, we're going to do it right. But the problem is... With, with any of these systems, you have to have a key so you can watch it. And the key's now in memory, and so now you can, you can uh, unprotect it. So we used to recommend a program from a company called Slysoft that has been since put out, just recently, like last month, put out of business by the movie industry, even though they were in Antigua. And, and, we th <laughs> and they thought well beyond the reach, the long reach of the copyright uh, police. Um, what do, chat room, now what do we recommend, what do you recommend for Blu-ray ripping? I know you can still do it. Um, is, is, is Sliceoff back? I, last I checked, they, they weren't. Then I saw somebody say they were, and then I checked, and they still weren't. So maybe they're not. On, they're no longer at Sliceoff.com, that's for sure. Uh, they're back as Red Fox. Oh, man. Can't talk about cat and mouse. <laughs> Movie industry should just give it up. Uh, but it isn't. That's a, that's a paid program. I, I recommend it because it was about as easy to do as possible. This is what I would do. I mean, you're trying to be a good and decent citizen but this is the problem with copy protection is it's a pain in the keister and doesn't work very well right so uh you want to have a blu-ray ripper um there are lots of ways to do this uh i'm trying to see handbrake is the one i recommend for um for dvds and I've used that in the past. That was a couple couple yeah. years back with the DVD I owned. So the, the trick with Handbrake is a little different for ripping Blu-rays because you still... Handbrake doesn't have any, you know, uh, cracking tools. Right. Um, so you need something that will help... Download, install Handbrake, start ripping Blu-ray with Handbrake. Uh... So the trick is, what? how do you decrypt it? Do you know, chat room, do you have a suggestion? Hand, handbrake in a Linux VMware needs nothing else. Make Oh, you need MakeMKV at MakeMKV.com. Mm -hmm. So just as with a DVD, you have to have VLC plus Handbrake, two free programs. For right. Blu-ray, you need MakeMKV, and then you can rip it with, with uh, handbrake. So this that's what I would do. 
it's it's technically illegal, but you own the disc. Right. And the movie industry brought this on themselves by this crappy solution, these digital copy solutions. So there you go. Just do that. Okay. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> Take Thank care. Thank you. I didn't want to go on, on the air with all of this, so we're doing that off the air. But I'll mention it briefly. Well, and it'll air. be on the podcast. So yeah, and it is on the podcast. Great. Thanks, Mike. Thank Take you. Care. And in the show notes. Now, I think we probably have the recording of my standard anti-copy protection rant. We could just cue that up, play it back. I'll take a little break. No. I'll... <laughs> so this is my call. Very. This is it. This is the problem. Uh, the, the, remember that when DVDs came out, there was copy protection on them. Uh, the DVD, the movie industry thought, really good copy protection. Man, we've, we, we really licked this. Now people will have to buy the discs to watch them. Uh and, of course, within, I think, less than a year, within a few months, some high school student, he's forever known as DVD John, cracked it. But unfortunately, by that time, enough DVD players and DVD movies had been sold that Hollywood could do nothing. And ever since, DVDs have been easily copied. <laughs> Darn it. So then Hollywood said, well, we got this new format, Blu-ray. Let's, let's learn from our lesson. Let's make something that can't be cracked. Of course... The problem is that the player, in order to play something back, has to have the magic key that unlocks the disc. Hollywood did say, well, we'll make that key revocable so that if it is leaked out, which it has, of course, uh, we can just change the key. And, uh, and, and, and this is why, by the way, your Blu-ray player is supposed to be connected to the internet and why every once in a while when you run a Blu-ray movie it says, oh, I have to update. Uh, that's what it's getting. It's checking to see if the keys have been revoked and does it need a new key. To, I, to my knowledge, the keys have never been revoked because it would break any Blu-ray player that's not connected to the internet, which is, guess what? Most of them. You would, you would put it, you'd buy a disc, you'd put it in your Blu-ray player, and it would say, I'm not, I can't play this disc. You have to connect me to the Internet. And then people would go, what? Uh, huh? It doesn't make any sense to have a copy protection scheme that requires an Internet connection. I mean, that's ridiculous. But it's this is the ridiculousness of copy protection. Look, I understand. You don't want your movie stolen. I completely understand this. But I may I point out? That the pirates have known how to... They've, they, they're not stopped by this. People who want to steal movies will continue to steal movies in all sorts of ways. The only people ever inconvenienced by these fakatka, crazy, insane copy protection schemes are normal people like Mike who bought the movie and I just want to play it. That's who is inconvenienced. That's who's slowed down. And unfortunately, what ends up happening is that's who then learns how to use techniques to crack the movie. So you're just annoying. You're just annoying people, movie industry. You're not, obviously, you're not slowing down piracy. It doesn't work. So stop annoying your legitimate customers. It's like when I pay $13.50 to go see a movie. And, and the first thing I see is an ad saying, don't steal this movie. It's like, dudes, anybody in this theater has paid you money to see this movie. You, you, you already got our money. You're talking to the wrong people. Okay, rant over. Can we record that and then I just won't have to do it ever again? We'll just put it on the website. <laughs> the answer, Mike, is to stop trying to use these really terrible um, digital copies that they put on the Blu-rays because they're still copy protected. That's why you have to use ultraviolet or iTunes. Their copy protection is, is, is broken. It's annoying. It gets in your way. It'll keep you from watching it on whatever device you want, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's a simple <laughs> Google search. How do I copy, a? how do I rip, use the word rip, a Blu-ray movie? And you'll find a hundred ways to do it. And guess what? The bad guys have known this since day one. They don't, they're not slowed down. My suggestion is get a program called Handbrake, which everybody should have. Handbrake, H-A-N-D-B-R-A-K-E dot F-R. It's from France, where obviously these people are just don't care about the Hollywood. <laughs> they don't care. And they've made a program that will take a 
Blu-ray and make it into a smaller, more convenient file that you can play on everything. And you can even in Handbrake say, I'm making this for an iPhone, I'm making this for an iPad, I'm making this for my computer, I'm making this for my TV. You can tell it. So it, it chooses the appropriate quality, etc. To get through the Blu-ray copy protection, you'll need an additional program. But Handbrake will explain how to do that, or your Google search will. But that program is basically a DVD player or a Blu-ray player. And it just loads the key into memory. That's all. It has to be able to do that, or it wouldn't work. And uh, I, you know, I don't want to go too much detail because I don't want the motion picture industry getting mad at me. Look, piracy is a bad thing. To please don't steal movies. If you love movies, if you love music, don't steal them. Support the people who make them. Of course, it's expensive. Buy the movies. But Mike bought the movie. Mike probably has already seen the movie in the theater and bought a copy of the movie. All he wants to do is put it on his phone. And you don't make that easy. So make a copy of it, Mike. And by the way, I can't, I mean, maybe, I, technically I guess it's illegal, but I can't imagine that anybody, any law, any court in the land would fine you for this because you own a copy. Now, don't make copies of movies you rent. You know, don't get it from the red box, make a copy of it, put it back. That's not, that's not nice. Be nice. Be honest. Be decent. Do the right thing. And I can say that, and you know what? There's plenty of bad guys who go, <laughs> Leo, huh? what a joker, who will continue to rip the movies off. You know, that's not the solution. Prosecute those guys. 